Hey everybody, here we have a Dell Inspiron 1300 in for service, and this is one of those weird Dells. You want to be my weird Dell? Is like, when it comes to Dell, most of the time their computers go by a standard that they go, usually go by. For example, with most of the older Dimension desktops, the CPU cooling system was basically a 92 millimeter fan in the um, back of the case with an air duct going from a heat sink. And with many of their laptops, they, t they tend to use a single style of adapter and have their own methods of doing things. But this laptop here, for example, is one of those machines that um, goes away from what Dell normally does when they manufacture computers. It's like it's made by a third party person. I've actually seen some desktops like that from Dell. And here is something definitely weird. It's under this little cover here. Let's go and have a look. The reason why the computer's in for service is was it needed some more memory and it was overheating. I already added some more memory to it, so let's go ahead and figure out why it's overheating. And here's the weird thing about the cooling system in this particular machine. When it comes to most laptops, they usually have the CPU located somewhere like in this area with a heat pipe that travels around down through here and through here as you can see usually that's how they work and this heat pipe covers the CPU and the chipset well at least the North Bridge anyway and sometimes a graphics chip if equipped but this machine is, is entirely different from that the cooling fan is located here and it has a has a copper heat sink located here that's yeah, supposedly for the CPU and possibly a chipset Northbridge too so let's go ahead and take this off and have a look now I believe the reason why this one's overheating is because it's slammed full of dust and can't breathe but if you don't see a general example of how a laptop's cooling system works I have some videos on my channel for you to go look at and we can get a good example of what a normal cooling system on a laptop is built like and then you'll see how this is so much different And this heat sink is spring loaded against the CPU. I think it only cools the CPU. I think the chipset has some sort of alternative cooling method. I'm not really sure. This is a definite first time seeing this kind of setup. And this should lift right off. Yep, just as I thought, the CPU is located here. And the cooler is right here. Now have a look at this. I am pretty disappointed here. They use this real sorry um, thermal transfer material. It looks to be what I've seen in many older Dells. Basically, it's a piece of tin foil, aluminum foil, if you want to call it that, with some black stuff on it. Look, I can just peel it right off, but have a look at that dust. Gee, you wonder why this thing was overheating. I mean, that's one reason, possibly, but really, just have a look at that. Just look at all this dust. Isn't that just wonderful? Okay, now I cleaned that heat sink out. I mean, there's still a couple of little specks of dust in it, but just have a look at the difference. You can actually see through it. Much, much better. Now I'm going to stick my paintbrush in here, see if I can get this fan cleaned out a little bit. I mean, this thing is just... The fan's okay. The fan spins just fine. So, hey, it's just dust getting in the heat sink. This is a common reason why um, laptops overheat and at least they had the chipset cooled some way different so that way only a CPU overheat not the chipset. Because normally when your fans get clogged up and the, th and the thing can't breathe 
it can cause some serious damage to your motherboard, or it I mean, stop your computer from working completely. Because your chipset will overheat. And this CPU is a Celeron M processor. So it shouldn't be a really hot running CPU. But it don't take much to make one overheat. Now let's get this crap off here. Well, let's peel off the aluminum foil. I mean, this. I mean, I'm, this. To be honest with you, you can't get much more ridiculous than this. I mean, look. I mean, other than the pink stuff, this here, I'm sure, is probably not much any better than the pink stuff. This looks like something they would install on Pentium Three. I mean, look at this. So the heat from the CPU has to transfer to this crap before it even gets to that copper heat sink. I mean, look, it's it's, it's more like aluminum foil, Reynolds wrap. How ridiculous! Now let's get this cleaned off. Now we can well we can reinstall this heat sink. Okay, I got this heat sink cleaned up. There's still some stuff on the edges, but that's not a big issue because the CPU die touches right in the center. We also went and cleaned up the CPU die itself, and we'll go ahead and apply some thermal paste to it so we can install our heat sink. Now we're going to reinstall the cooler. Okay, coolers now installed. So, anyways, um, after I had to share it with you, this very different design than a CPU core and laptop. I find that very strange, but it seems to work okay as long as you keep it clean and as long as they would put decent thermal paste on there. So, anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask.